Losers. <laughs> but we're not cats. We're Paula and Katrina. And together we are the, the Gallifrey Gallifrey Gals. Gals. Oh, sorry. Oh, we're doing this. We're like, where are our superpower rings? Where you like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy unite. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, this is the Gallifrey Gals get warped. You warped. know it. You love you it. You love it. <laughs> it's the show where we watch Star Trek The Next Generation. I know I love it. <laughs> I love it. I just edited the Barkley episode and god damn it, it's so good. It's, it's good. so good. That was a very fucking good episode. That's one yeah. of my favorites from the season, I think. Where he like uh, taps all into the mm-hmm. and also, season. Oh what? No, 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 please say say no. Say I was just gonna say. say how I was like sexually attracted to confident Barkley. That's all. I mean, yeah, because <laughs> confidence. All- like confidence and it is wasn't attractive, overstepping but not, the line. Yeah. Like, it wasn't aggressive. It wasn't gross. Like he was just very like, oh, let me take you on a he walk. He was just naturally sure of himself. And when Troy was like, no, he was like, okay. You know, yeah, like it was are. just like, oh. <laughs> wow, someone who respects consent, believes in themselves, but respects consent and doesn't get upset when you say oh. no. Hot. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe I will say yes. No. <laughs> uh, Any hoosers. I was going to say, speaking of the season, mm-hmm. this is episode 21 we're about to watch of 26. That's really weird. We are not that far from the end of season four, which is crazy. Yeah, that's, I saw the title, the drum head. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. That's this episode. I can't and, think um, of what that could be. Yeah. Uh, perhaps this is starting to kick off a series of events that will take us into the end of the season. Or perhaps it's just a random episode with like Q in it or something. I guess we'll see. Powerful friends on the home world. I could talk to them. They might help to restore your name. So now you're if trying you to bribe me. take me to a shuttlecraft. Anyone yeah. Anyone knowing about it. <laughs> talk about my honor again. To the Romulans, but I will find out to talk. Captain it's like a cozy dress. Admiral Sati, welcome aboard the Enterprise. Delighted to be here. The radiation levels are dropping, but they're still too high to raise the isolation door. How much longer will it be? Oh fuck! So the they like can't. Oh fuck! Directed hours, by Captain. Jonathan Frakes. Maybe the admiral would like to see the visual log. Commander Data. The Forge. I don't envy you your job. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Great. Very disturbing overtones in the idea of a Klingon <laughs> providing information. But all that Wanderers. radiation. I don't envy you. <laughs> knows or doesn't know is for me to reveal. Okay. The ship has encountered several incidents which why did i go from like feeling okay about her to not trusting her within a fucking well second that, <laughs> i've been pursuing the investigation of lieutenant jadan i believe i know how he transferred information off the enterprise well done lieutenant i had to read data from starfleet isolinear chips that literally is he can extract <laughs> digital information from a computer encoded in the form of amino acid sequences and transfer those sequences into a fluid in the syringe then he injects someone Perhaps even without those three sentences he just oh, somehow absolutely. spewed out of his fucking mouth. <laughs> Lieutenant Wolf, when we confront Picard's Jadan, like, I want you to conduct the watch investigation. It. A hypo syringe was discovered in your quarters. I take injections. Everyone knows that. This device has but one function: to transform computer information into biological sequences. Blood of all Klingons has become water. How did you damage the dilithium chamber? I had nothing to he do with that. He came so quickly. You mean it was sheer coincidence? Yeah. Why lie now? I am not lying. Yeah, good question. Why would he lie now? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Conspiracy. Who on this ship would be a mole? I don't know. 
I don't know, there's a lot of people on the ship. I've seen this before. My father taught me to avoid partnerships. Most of them are woefully lopsided. <laughs> that sounds like Judge Aaron Satie. You knew my father? Only from his writings. I resented you being assigned to me. <laughs> but I was wrong. We're going to be quite a team. And how often did Lieutenant Jadan come in for his injections? About once a week. Did you administer them yourself? No. Simon Tarsus, crewman first class, medical technician. Mr. Tarsus, your records state that you were born on Mars Colony. My paternal grandfather was Vulcan. Yes, I see that. It's Tell the, me, what is your relationship with the Klingon Jadan? There were several of us, actually. I, I might have I've done it twice. Did he ever make any Cook comments so that might, in retrospect, be suspicious? He he's lying. lying. He's desperately frightened. He's covering something. It's clear that he's frightened. I think we found the man. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Chill. But there is a difference between a counselor and an investor. Yeah, like a judge and jury. Are you saying yeah. you never used your counselor during interrogations? Yes, I do. But I would not act solely on the basis and instinct. Troy would never tell you to. Yeah. Nor do I. You're asking me to restrict Mr. Tarsi's movement solely on the basis of Sabin's feeling. If we had clear evidence. We will have clear evidence. Sabin and Lieutenant Worf are continuing to investigate. But if you don't act until then, it may be too late. But... I won't treat a man as a criminal unless there is cause to do so. You give a saboteur a chance to strike again. Last time it was just a hatch cover. What if next time it's more serious? What if lives are lost? What did you find? This is the frame for the hatch. It ruptured right along here. I believe, sir, that the conclusion to our investigation must be that the explosion was not intentional. That's the way I see it. This wasn't sabotage at all. It was nothing more than an accident. Captain Picard. Lieutenant Worf and I have been working well together. I suggest we continue, if for no other purpose than to determine Tarsus's innocence. Now, please, let me remind you he is innocent. Yeah, until... until he is proved guilty. No. We've opened the hearing to spectators. It isn't good to have closed-door proceedings for too long. I am not vibing on how this lady handles stuff. I have not done anything wrong. Dr. Crusher. Have you observed? Oh, oh, I'm, uh, I'm just like Jadan. called from the audience. Well, yes, he gave him his injection. Admiral, if you have a case to make against Simon Tarsus, you had better make. Yeah, it. back the fuck up. Here and now. He said, "Don't you dare go after Doctor Crush." Yeah. That's, that's my secret old lady. Okay, like, <laughs> that's my secret old lady. That's back the fuck up. Because I have access does not what mean I say if I told you there is evidence. That the what explosion a great in the engine room view was of caused our judicial, by a corrosive chemical. Ah, you don't one that is say, kept stored right in sickbay. How can we believe someone whom we know, we know, to be a liar? I object. There is no basis for calling crewman Tarsus a liar. Agreed. Mr. Sabin. Captain, there is a basis which will become clear in a moment. Fuck off! Isn't it true that the paternal grandfather of whom you speak oh, is he part was not Romulan? a Romulan? But it was in fact a Romulan. That it is Romulan blood you carry and a Romulan heritage that you honor. He's probably hiding the fact that he's part Romulan because of situations like this where motherfuckers are gonna corner him because he's part Romulan. This is not unlike a a drumhead trial. But we know there is a you... traitor here. He refused to answer the question about his Romulan grandfather. That is not a crime. Tell of Picard. Mm. Nor can we infer his guilt because mm. he didn't respond. But the road from legitimate suspicion to rampant paranoia is very much shorter than we think. Something is wrong here, Mr. Wolf. I don't like- Oh, Picard, I fucking love you so, so much! Good. So good. This oh. whole scene is so good. <laughs> oh. I'm just like, oh. I cannot possibly believe you mean this. But I do. He admits his mistake in falsifying his application, but that does not make him a traitor. I Ugh. have news for you, Captain. I've been in constant contact with Starfleet have. Command. The hearings are not going to stop. What you're doing here it's is unethical, unethical and it's called fear-mongering. It's immoral. Your full name? Jean-Luc Picard. 
I believe that Chapter 4, Article 12 of the Uniform Code of Justice grants me the right yeah, to Yeah, it does. Come at me! <laughs> Have we become so fearful? Have we become so cowardly that we must extinguish a man because he carries the blood of a current enemy? Captain, do you believe in the Prime Directive? Of course. Would it surprise you to learn that you are violating <laughs> I'm not the surprised Prime to learn. I'm not surprised to learn. I'm not surprised to learn. Since you took command of the Enterprise. I was following orders to take this ambassador to a location near the neutral zone. I don't think we need the preamble. In fact, she was not a Vulcan at all, was she? She was a Bitch, Romulan we didn't spy. Know. A spy who was we delivering back into the hands of the enemy. <laughs> the Enterprise could have been captured by the Romulans. Captain Picard did the only thing he could. And where were you when this traitor was on board the Enterprise? Don't you think it's questionable judgment, Captain, to have a security ah! officer whose father was a Romulan collaborator? Sorry, that was Good probably moment. really loud. I'm just very frustrated. Just how many of our ships were lost? Let me just bring Indiana. up this really traumatic thing that you had no control over, life, and let me just trigger your PTSD. First speech censured, the first thought forbidden, the first freedom denied, chains us all irrevocably. Those words were uttered by Judge Aaron Sati. I fear oh. that day. Oh, how dare you invoke my father's name to support your oh, you don't like that? arguments. I will expose you for what you are. <laughs> Perhaps we should call a recess. Yeah, doesn't like it so much when Until her tomorrow. past personal Gets issues brought, get brought yeah, up and right? in her like, face. Am I bothering you, Captain? No. No, no <laughs> I guess it's fine. <laughs> Admiral Sati has left the Enterprise. Hmm. I believed her. Or... Villains who twirl their mustaches are easy to spot. Those who clothe themselves in good deeds are well camouflaged. Vigilance, Mr. Wolf. That is the price we have to continually pay. I think Jonathan Frakes did a great job of directing. Yeah. I think he did a really good job. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. God, that's so frustrating. Well, the episode came uh, in under uh, $250,000 under budget or something. So they, they achieved that goal with it. Um, I can definitely see how it saved their money for sure. <laughs> yeah, because they were just on the ship in that just, mostly one room mostly with just that people. Room, sometimes his office. I think they were only on the bridge like two times. Um, yeah. These <sighs> ones are always so frustrating. Not because it's a bad episode, but because it just it's a little too close to yeah. home. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing again that this show, this uh, aired in 1991, uh, this and episode. Here we are, and like, 30 it's years so, later. so many of the, the issues that get addressed in the show are so like universal to the human experience. And yeah, I mean, this could be something about what's going on in our society now. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Yeah, it's just frustrating. It's just so frustrating. Um, and because, you know, of course, like part of me wants to be able to empathize with her, but like yeah. I'm so past the point of being able to empathize with people who just choose ignorance and yeah. base their entire like belief system off of that. Yeah. <laughs> you know like it's just so exhausting um I mean he talked about it right there at the end it's just like the witch hunt vibes and like the the fear mongering the mm. you know it's just so god it's so the punishing people because you're scared of them because not of, because, because they've actually fear. done anything exactly yeah. because of fear because you found out oh his great-grandfather is Romulan not Vulcan 
oh god that must mean that because of that he now is just a terrible person deep down and one day he's gonna wake up and just be an evil like it's like no <laughs> you can't condemn someone based off of their past or based off of their yeah. family or based off of their well and you see how quickly kid. that that can get turned on anyone you know they were working anyone. with Worf and they were like Worf is so great Worf is so great should he really be here his father is a Romulan collaborator and it's yeah. like wait what we just were just so working quick. together yeah so quick to throw him under the bus yeah. um and the fact that she even called Picard in as the next person to interview she only did that because she was pissed off that he stood up against her oh. like so because of that, it was, well, now I'm going to pull him in and I'm going to question him and I'm going to make him look really yeah. shitty. And I'm going to bring up some really personal traumatic events and talk mm. about how, because of that, he's not worthy as a captain and blah, 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 blah. And then the moment he's like, mm, in words of your father, like judging yeah. people based off of this and like, you know, like, and then for her to be like, how dare you? Yeah. You're like, this is literally what you were just doing. Yeah. And it's like, you can't handle it. You can't handle mm-hmm. a taste of your own medicine. You can't handle the truth. Exactly. Um, so yeah. sit the fuck down. <laughs> Get off your little high horse. Oof. Yeah. Good episode though. Yeah, really, really good. good. And very, again, very some good Picard Amazing moments. Picard. That's what oh! I was just about to say. Yeah. They're really so, good Picard lines. So subtle. And it's the same thing I feel when I watch um Gates McFadden Mm. um they are both so good at the very minute moments like it's just little tiny moments um that just add so much to the character add Mm. so much to the scene add so much to the moment um and he is just so good with that very very little moments in his face very little yeah. moments in his reactions even if it's a tiny hand movement mm-hmm. it just adds so fucking much and he's yeah. just so good and he had some really good lines in this one yeah some really fucking good monologues i think like three of them like it was just like back to back to back it was just like god yeah damn card spitting facts <laughs> like get it mm-hmm. um so yeah, that was, that was really good. And also I loved that they used Worf in that way. I love that Worf was used in that way to show like, mm-hmm. and especially at the end there where he was like, I just blindly followed her. Like I, I just didn't even think about it. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, it happens. We make mistakes, but we have to be aware of these things. Mm-hmm. But I just like that Worf was used for that because he is so, it's so honor-based. It's so, you know, um, He's always quick to follow the rules and always quick to, you know, do the right thing. Um, So I really enjoyed that his character was used for that. On that note, sorry, that was very- On that note, yeah, that was the drama. It was a very good episode. I can definitely see how it was one that was supposed to save them money. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah it was just from they didn't have to worry about locations they didn't have a bunch yeah, of crazy like alien crazy. makeup to do yeah. uh yeah it was just um the yeah a couple klingons and then the one tall lady with her oh yeah she, she finally got a line though i know <laughs> i was like oh, they let God. her talk thank goodness so, yeah there you go well, all righty then that was it now that we've we've looked up spencer what was his name spencer garrett Garrett. Uh, so yeah, we'll move on from here to, uh, to the next one. The next episode, ever closer to the end of season four. Ah! The end of season four. I can't believe it. We're going to blink and we're going to finish the show. I know I can't even like so far off and it is, but also like we're going to blink and it's going to be done and I can't even think about it. That's so weird to think about. Yeah. Oy vey. All right. Well, think about it with us, y'all, and join your Gallifrey gals next time as we boldly watch what no noob has ever watched before. (laughs) Bye. Bye (laughs) Bye-bye. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a little thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when we post new content, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell in the corner.